Sternklang is an opera of the stars where the stars actually sing to you. I'd say that. <laughs> My name is Laurie Lixenberg and I am, the, um, I am part one of group three in the production Sternklang with the BCMG. I mean, I was so excited coming here. It was pathetic. I was on the train like, I'm on a train with a really bad cup of coffee and I'm so excited. And I had my mask and I sprayed everything and, uh, and the train was totally empty, which was weird because normally London to Birmingham is disgustingly packed and pretty horrendous. But uh, yeah, I was like, Well, it's just been nuts. I mean, it's just completely extraordinary. And it's been so, uh, I mean, the, 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 it's had a kind of a weird shape to it as well. So the beginning with, with um, everybody freaking out and buying like shed loads of, of toilet roll. And then I was sort of sitting there thinking, oh, should I be buying toilet roll too? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so and I, there's a friend of mine who's a GP and he said that, um, it's very abstract, in fact, the COVID, because, you know, we're walking around in the sunshine and everything seems fine, doesn't it? But there's this kind of invisible thing. And, um, and actually, not everything is fine. And um, all the drama is happening in the hospitals and with the care workers and all those frontline people. So it's, it, so it's kind of like this weird sort of, it gives a strange atmosphere. I mean, we had the first rehearsal with this on Zoom and, and with, the, with the Zoom latency and uh, like it, it kind of freaks out if more than one person speaks at time. It, it kind of doesn't know where to focus it. it doesn't, the, um, the voice analysis isn't, isn't quite uh, uh, what's it, uh, uh, sophisticated in, enough yet. Uh, but I, I think there's some people are trying to work on that and make it in, into something a little bit more musical. I love Triangulum, and it's the one I kept getting wrong, so it's funny. Mm, and um, I, I, I mean, Orion, 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 as well as it's like, it's kind of like, uh, it's this kind of like, it's, uh, it, it's, that's fantastic as well, because it's so kind of, you kind of can feel the, uni the, the vibrations of the universe. It gives you time to make a really good uh, harmonic. And also I'm, a, I'm allowed to go down to a bottom D, and that's fun. <laughs> I think uh, the experience of being in that music is the thing. So there's some pieces that are like that. So this is like I mean, anything by Stockhausen, because I did Austin Siebentagen and we did the whole fasting thing and blah, blah, blah. And so um, there's some composers that don't just compose, they kind of create an entire world that requires the performer to step into and also the listener, actually, if you want to get the most out of it. And, uh, John Cage is like that. So with the, like with the songbooks, you, you, there's a whole world that's created. That's, so it's not just, well, it, it is music and it, it's kind of music on a massively philosophical scale. And um, so that's the thing I'm really looking forward to, just that world being created. And I mean, it's very hard to distinguish sometimes the, the end of one section and the beginning of another. It it's, takes a lot of concentration. The funny thing about these rehearsals is that normally in rehearsal you get like a dip in your, in your concentration or like a, some kind of tiredness, but not with this music. And it's really, it's really strange, I don't know what it is. Either Stefan's the most brilliant kind of um, Organizer of rehearsals, so it, you, you keep fresh. But it, 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 it's like a, it's, you, you get a kind of energy from it. So I don't know if it's those kind of vibrations or something. <laughs>